All this talk of the new WX-78 rework has been fine and dandy, folks, but I went back to that bonus wort update the other day just to do some thinking. Clever thinking, that is. While the clever disguise here is a fairly straightforward, wort-specific craft, the new changes to wort, merms, and the merm king may have just made it an absolutely amazing little piece of gear here, so let's glorp. Now, it don't mean and has never really meant all that much to Wirt herself, of course, considering she's already a flippin' merm. So really all you should take away from this segment here is how disguises will drain the sanities of all those who wear them by 1.33 per minute, including Wirt as you can see, and how its durability has increased. They used to rot come 6 days, but now they're gonna stick around for nearly 16. And that's very nice. But yeah, say disguise based on merm kind does exactly what you think it does. For all non work players in the game, a clever disguise will make all merms consider them one of their own, even if there isn't a merm team in play, allowing for us to approach their homes without a worry. But remember now, Merms are not immediately hostile to us anyways, and only attack if we get too close to their homes. So not only will disguises help us do so, they will unlock the ability for all other survivors to recruit loyal merms. Factor in the new friendship mechanics that see two to three merms joining a team per feed, and things can get cooking really quickly, and that's great. Be warned, however, the disguise is much more effective than you might think. Merms might welcome us with open arms arms now, but wear one near Pikmin, and they will be throwing punches left and right, which is not great. But seeing as we're flip-flopping here, this is, and it is the only reason why this quick bit even exists. Frogs can now be turned neutral with the clever disguise, folks. Wirt's recent rework made merms and frogs friends, so pretending to be a merm now has even more advantages than it already did. Seriously, imagine arming the team with disguises come a potential frog rain. That's awesome. Use them well. But hold up, Beard. What do you even mean by more advantages? What else is this thing able to do for us? Well, we apparently look like a merm so much that even the king of the merms himself will be fooled into throwing out all sorts of riches, including gold nuggets nowadays. Without a disguise, the king will refuse our offerings, but with one, he will be happy to receive any non-wordy tribute there is. And that's good stuff. Just be sure to keep tricking the game into thinking you're a merm if you're doing any of this, otherwise things are probably gonna go so bad for you so quickly. Especially if you're near a leaky shack. More often than not though, you will simply just lose all the merm's loyalty in an instant once the mask comes off. But before we go, both Weber and Wartox players should absolutely take a huge note here. Clever disguises can even trick Bunnymen into thinking that you guys are merms. This means they will not only be neutral to you when they absolutely shouldn't be, but you will also be able to recruit them as you absolutely should not be able to do. All that said, you will have to keep the mask on at all times if you're playing these two characters, which isn't always ideal. But have fun. And there you have it, everyone. Just another swift guide on the clever disguise itself, sure, but also a more fast mention regarding the potential of neutral frogs moving forward following the recent work rework. That to me was worth an entire video on a three year old piece of clothing because it just got updated itself. But I hope it helped. Thanks for watching, folks. Well wishes to all, and I'll see you in the next one. Glorp, glorp.